Hey, this is Justin Garcia, creator of the Data Display Package for Concrete 5. And today we're going to take a look at the import export, import export functionality of the package. So if I go to my Data Display page, I'm going to go to Import Export. And what this does is it lets you import uh, either forms, list templates, or detail templates from an XML file. Um, and the package comes with four XML files that can be imported. Um, and of course you can export any forms or templates that you have within your installation. But I'm going to browse to um, one of the templates that comes with the uh, package. And this is the root of my Concrete 5 install, so you, it'll be found in the packages and then data display folder. And you can see there's few XML files in here. The only one that's not an importable file is db.xml and that's because um, that's basically used for the installation of the package. But these four that start with dd are uh, templates that we've created ahead of time that you can use to import into your site. And I'm going to start with this real estate listing. So if I click open and import that file then you can see under my export template sets where, where I've got all my forms list templates and detail templates listed, it's now got a real estate form list and detail template. Um, so I'm going to flip back to my forms page, expand this down, and you can see I've got a real estate form in here with lots of fields relevant to a uh, real estate listing. And I'm going to go ahead and just populate this with some junk data just so I don't have to spend a lot of time typing that in. I'm going to browse to a couple of, couple of pictures that I have on my computer that we can use. I think these will work nicely. I'm just going to do two of these and submit. And I'm going to do one more. Populate. And except I'm going to change this to white. And pick this last photo. We'll just do one. Of course with this form you can do up to five and if you were to edit the form you could add as many as you would like. Submit it. All right, so now we've got two items. I'm going to go to my data display page that I've created ahead of time. Edit this and actually already have an installation or an instance of the uh, data display block. I'm going to delete that just so we can kind of have a from scratch example here. So I'm going to add to main, go down to data display, and you can see it's already got the real estate. Uh, form and templates selected because those are the only ones that I have in my system. So if I click add, you can see that I've got a nicely formatted um, real estate listing here. Now of course if this were actual data here you would have the address, city, state, zip, MLS number, number of bedrooms, bathrooms, price. And if I click view details on any of these I get additional information um, about it as well as some larger pictures it shows the additional photos in which you can click on those um, and see a larger version. And so all this has been predefined in the template and so it just has a nice listing. Of course you can go in and edit that template if you would like and adjust this in any way you you would want to. But I'm going to return to the listing and while we're in here I'm going to show a quick example of how the search functionality works within the package. So if I enable searching, and we're going to enable state, since I've specified those differently when adding them in, publish this. So let's say I want to search for Y. Click go. And it returns the property that we added that was in Hawaii. Of course, if I type in um, Mississippi, returns nothing because I don't have any from Mississippi. So that's how the search functionality works, pretty straightforward. Now let me return to the dashboard and we'll do one more example of this really quickly. Browse to my import file. And we'll pick the um, frequently asked questions list. Click open, import. You can see it adds them down here. Of course, under this detail templates, we've got blank. And if I switch over to this and load this up, 
you can see, just as the title says, it's blank. And the reason for this is because this um, example doesn't actually use a detail template, but you do have to specify one when you add the block to the page. So we have a blank one just so we can kind of bypass that. I'm going to go ahead, go back to my data display page. Actually, let's take a step back real quick. We need to add some data to this first. You can see we've got a new form for frequently asked questions. I'm going to just fill this out really quickly. What is my name? You can see I've done this before. And we'll just do two. What is today? Today is Thursday. Submit that. Go to my data display page. Edit this. And I can just edit this block actually. Oops. Switch this to use the frequently asked questions. And update that. And you can see my two questions are listed here. What is my name and what is today? And the way we've set this uh, template up actually is that if you click on the question, it expands down with the answer to the question. So that's where the um, the reason that there's no use of the detail template is because everything is listed right here. This lets you keep you know all of your formatting consistent for all of your questions, um, and just has a nice little drop down for each. So that's really how the import export functionality works. Um, I didn't display the export functionality, but it's pretty simple. If you go to your export page, let's say I want to export my real estate forms and templates. You can do uh, as many as easy as you want. It'll put them all in a single file. Export creates an export.xml file, which I can then save to my system. So let's say I want to call this real estate.xml. Save it. And then I can use it on any other instance of the data display package anywhere. So you can share templates and forms with uh, some of your colleagues, or if you have multiple Concrete 5 data display installations, you can do it across sites. So it's really helpful. Rather than have to manually copy everything, it lets you easily share those. Um, that's how the import-export functionality works. Again, thanks for tuning in.